great Aussie road trip, the vehicle choice is paramount. And for me, that means a four-wheel drive. These vehicles offer freedom to explore our beautiful country, whether it's crossing a river, crossing the deserts. One of the things I absolutely love about four-wheel drives is their cargo capacity. You can load heaps of gear inside the vehicle in the back. You can put gear on top, like kayaks, for example. You can chuck some mountain bikes on your tow ball as well. The more toys you have, the more fun you're going to have on your trip. For those who have to travel with a caravan, a four-wheel drive really makes the best of both worlds. With a great towing capacity, such as this Discovery here, it has a three and a half tonne towing capacity, perfect for big caravans. It allows you to get yourself and your caravan out to a beautiful spot and then use the four-wheel drive to explore even further. When it comes to an engine in your four-wheel drive, a diesel engine is the only way to go for the great Aussie road trip. A diesel engine offers fantastic torque and power and also they offer great fuel economy. And the last thing about diesel engines is diesel fuel is available in more remote locations in Australia, which can be pretty important if you're keen to get right off the beaten track. The whole idea behind four-wheel driving is to get out there. It's to be as remote as possible, but being removed brings with it its own kind of risk. So it's best to be prepared uh, toolkit aside, perhaps your number one item of survival should be the first aid kit. When you're planning your big journey, you should always include a checklist of survival gear. Make sure your medical kit is comprehensive and has a snake bite bandage used for wrapping limbs. Your headlamp or torch should always be waterproof. Having a second snatch strap is essential four-wheel driving kit. Never leave home without a quality knife it's old fashioned, but unlike a GPS, a compass doesn't require power. And always take a space blanket. And if you like diarrhea, then best to leave your water purification gear at home. In order to light a fire, you're obviously gonna want matches, failing that, a lighter. If the car battery is still working, the car lighter. Or you can get yourself one of these, the Swedish Fire Steel 2.0 Scout, which I believe is flint. And finally, the shovel to get you out of all kinds of bother. <sighs> Lastly, when it comes to selecting some wheels for your classic Australian road trip, if you're not a four-wheel driver or a camper vanner, then odds on you are someone that loves their caravan. Now, one of the things that I love about caravanning is the convenience factor. You can arrive at your favourite caravan park, you can unhitch, and you can leave your caravan set up while you go off exploring the region in your own vehicle. And then by the time you get back, well, you're good to go. It's comfort plus. No matter where you want to go in Australia, there's a caravan to suit you. From massive fifth wheelers with living space to spare, to medium sized rigs for touring couples and families. And you know what? There's even off-road rigs. These will take you to the tip of Cape York and even across the Gun Barrel Highway. Now the beauty of caravans and campers and even four-wheel drives is that you don't have to be locked into any set itinerary. You can go where you want, when you want. And you know something? That's what this lifestyle is all about. The caravans themselves are only half the picture. What about the caravan parks? In Australia, we have van parks in some of the most desirable holiday locations in the world. And if you're looking for some tips, then grab your pen, because here's three of the best. If you like the idea of small town beach holidays, Treachery Camp at Seal Rocks on the New South Wales North Coast is a pristine private campground of over 38 acres between Myall Lakes National Park and the sparkling waters of its very own beach. But if you're more into top end adventures, six hours west of Cairns is the beautiful Cobbold Gorge Holiday Park, shaded in eucalypts, surrounded by incredible bird life with its own stunning pool to cool off in, this is the ultimate outback van site. And rounding out your holiday park triplet, when it comes to parks surrounded by drop-dead gorgeous scenery, Western Victoria's Lakeside Tourist Park is the gateway to the sublimely beautiful Grampians National Park. 
if you'd like to win yourself a lifetime of weekend fun, to kick off Australian Geographic Adventures premiere series, we're going to be giving away the ultimate adventure kit that we hope will inspire you to get out and explore this amazing country of ours. To win this majestic 2015 Sierra Off-Road Extreme, complete with rugged 15-inch wheels, simplicity suspension, air conditioning, gas heated hot water system, rear ensuite, and a Kamek top load washer. And this Stabycraft 1650 Fisher with Mercury outboard, low rents electronics, and trans style trailer. Just text your full name and details to 1995 2010 to be in the running. Or go and grab your computer and log on to our website, agadventures.com.au, and use this code word to enter the draw. If you have any questions, all terms and conditions can be found on our website, so go get busy. Coming up next, a beginner's guide to setting up camp.